Tonight, we come to you from Mai Sot, Thailand, a border area about 300 miles north of Bangkok, located in Thailand, but only 300 feet from the Burmese border. This historic annual event celebrates the independence of Thailand, won at the hands of their most famous Muay Thai fighter, a fellow by the name of Naikonom Tom. And tonight, CMX Sports, in association with Master Toddy, presents Bare Knuckle Muay Thai Championship bouts at their very best. Hello again, everybody. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan, and welcome to Thailand. This is the view we have here. It's about 100 degrees right now and about 100% humidity. The sights and sounds of this beautiful country of Thailand. And joining me is a world champion. His name is Kit Cope, and Kit... This is an unusual day. Not only do I welcome you to the early part of our telecast, but you're fighting the main event tonight. So yes, it's I, a night for you. I will be fighting this evening, but I would never pass up an opportunity to hang out with the Colonel. I appreciate that. This is some uh, 12,000 miles away from when I talked to you first about what this fight's all about. We're thrilled to be here with CMX Sports and Master Toddy uh, Muay Thai Boxing. But tell me a little bit about the history as we look at the sights and sounds of beautiful Thailand. Well, uh, several hundreds of years ago, Naikonom Tom, he's uh, like the father of Muay Thai, he, uh, he fought in Burma against the Burmese in front of the king of Burma, um, basically to win Thailand's uh, independence. So this is kind of a reenactment, or at least a, a historic event, in that every year for about a couple of hundred years they continue to do this. So uh, we have some American fighters. How does that fit in? The American fighters are representing Thailand against the Burmese fighters tonight? Actually, Muay Thai has come so far, so far along in America, that we can actually compete nowadays. And they're actually quite proud of that fact that, uh, that we've taken such an interest in their culture and such an interest in their sport. That, um, that they've given us this opportunity to fight for them. Well, we just saw Master Toddy there on the streets, and if anybody's done a great job in making Muay Thai the worldwide event, uh, this is the man. Now, here we are. This is pretty much the area we're in. We're uh, a little bit away from right here, but this is our camera shot shooting across the border. This is actually Burma or Myanmar, they call it now. That is Burma, Myanmar. And as you'll see, our camera's going to pull back here in a second as we come back across this bridge. This is right next to the venue where we are, folks. And again, it's about 100 degrees. As you see, it's daytime here. The humidity is, is just, it's got to be at least 100%. Uh, I don't know if it can be any more than that. But I'm sweating just sitting here, and you have to fight yet. And as we pull back, you'll see exactly where our arena and stadium is that uh, our championship events are going to take place. And so this is a huge event in Thailand and for Burma as well. Absolutely. That's the border right there. You cross that, you're in Burma. Now, you had a long trip up here. You drove up by car. It took you, what, about uh, seven hours to come up? It's from? about a seven-hour trip. It took us about 11. <laughs> we <laughs> well, stopped you, and played around a couple of times. You were traveling with Master Toddy, so that had to be an enjoyable time. Well, coming up is our main event of the evening. So, again, CMX Sports and Master Toddy present Muay Thai Championship Boxing and its Bare Knuckles Boxing Muay Thai boxing, that is, is very best. What's the story of the Bare Knuckles, uh, Kit? They, uh, they want to take it back into the old day, back when, the, back when they really did this for war. And so uh, they used to wrap their hands with rope, and that's just for hand protection. And so um, they wrap their hands with rope. There are no rules. This is the way it goes. And as we take a look, here's the main event. You're in it. Our main event of the evening is in the light heavyweight division. All our fights tonight are five rounds. It'll feature Kit Cope against a guy by the name of Mojo Mawadi. What do you know about Mawadi? He's uh, he's got a lot more experience than I do. He's fought uh, he's fought a lot and he's fought hard, mostly bare knuckle. And our co-main event of the evening is going to feature another guy that uh, fights in the Master Toddy Gym. You've trained with him. His name is Ben Garcia, and he's taking on a guy by the name of Joshua Rangoon, also a five-round battle in the junior welterweight division. They're 140 pounders. Ben Garcia, big night for him. Oh, yeah, this is his first bare knuckle as well. All right, our first fight of the evening is uh, a five-round uh, lightweight fight featuring Super O, a guy by the name of Anupab Chenchai. You can help me out with these names, yeah, too. No, that was good. That was great. <laughs> as we take a look at the uh, tail of the tape, you get an idea of the size of the guy, and he's taking on Jelon Panang. And you tell me that most of the time here in Thailand, they use the first name of these guys. We take a look at the rules, and I'll point at a couple of things about the rules as uh, we pick it up. You'll see that uh, the uh, knees, fists, feet, elbow, kicks to the head are all legal. Headbutts in this one are legal too. And ordinarily, all kicks except to the groin, spine, back of the head uh, 
uh, illegal. But in this particular day, I understand that all those shots are also legal. You can kick anything. You can hit anything. If they fall on the ground, you can jump on top of them. It's, this is like a free-for-all. It's awesome. And then, of course, holding and hitting, holding and punching, holding and pulling. Pulling and kneeing at the same time, all of that's uh, legal. Pulling and headbutting, it's beautiful. And the basic kicks that we'll be looking for that uh, there may be bounties on, as you take a look at the guys decked out here, these are the uh, two uh, lightweights that are going to be in our first fight of the evening. Decked out in the blue trunks is uh, Paang, uh, and you say that we should call him by his first name, uh, Jelong, huh? Jelong, yeah. Okay, Jelong, that's even Jeleong. better. You, you help me any time, Kit, with Jeleong. these pronunciations, and he's be taking on a guy, I can say this one, Super O. Super O. So Jelong is uh, 5'3", he weighs 135 pounds, he's only 17 years of age. He's got quite a background to him, though. He's had uh, 95 bare-knuckle fights, 60 draws, no, uh, I mean 60 uh, wins, uh, 35 draws. How come uh, there's so many draws, uh, Kit? Uh, because if you do not knock your boy out, that's a draw. There's only one way to win here. This guy also had 35 wins by knockout. So uh, the fact that there are so many draws when you take a look at it, it's because uh, exactly what Kit just said, because, uh, you know, you got to knock the guy out. So this makes it even more exciting. Uh, his dream is to beat the Thai guy for the uh, world championship. So uh, we'll see if that comes uh, uh, to fruition. Now, I understand also that there's going to be a couple of different uh, referees. What's that all about? There's uh, just to keep it fair and, and because there's a lot of shenanigans that go on as far as, uh, as far as since everything's legal, everything turns dirty. And so uh, they're just making sure everything goes well. Now, the TIE fight is super O. They're actually uh, uh, kind of red trunks as I look at them. But on a monitor, they look uh, almost brown. So right. uh, we'll keep pointing out. And he, he takes that. What's that little thing that uh, I've seen you back in the States with that? What's that? That's uh, called a mong corn. It's a ceremony of hardware. All right, we're coming up for our first fight of the evening. We're all set. Super O and sort of the, the, the red trunks, but on your screen, they're going to be brown. And Jalon Pong is in the blue trunks. And since they're very closely related, we'll tell you right now to start this first round off. Again, it's schedule of five. The guy to the right of your screen is the guy from Thailand. And that's a Super O. And we'll see how he does as they high kicks. They start out with the kicks right away. Boy, he went right for the face with that first one here in round number yep. one. You'll see a lot of hands thrown in this because they cut very easily when you're just wrapped with rope. Now, which referee there, the guy in the white shirt or the guy in the dark shirt is the guy from Burma or Thailand, you know? The guy in the dark shirt is the Thai referee. Okay, so... The other guy's the Burmese referee. And the reason they do this is to keep it 100% fair 100 since they... 100% fair. Wow. With all... The, oh, look at this high kick, the high side kick again. So right away, Super O looks pretty good here in round number one. Oh, look at that. Wow. Remember, folks, no gloves on either. Now, what's the story with the wraps? Uh, I heard some story that the, sometimes a very fine glass to harden them up is uh, uh, the, the Yeah, hands. like a glass powder you put underneath the wraps makes it nice and hard under there. Uh, under the wraps, so the guy can't be cut by that unless he's... Uh, right, right. It's actually powdered glass. It makes it nice and heavy and solid. Wow. They wouldn't think of using, uh, using gloves. I mean, they don't have any protection, really, except oh, the tape on the Nice hands. elbow. Just barely missed. Again, it's Super O in the kind of brown trunks. It's a very active, very early fight. Good action here in the early going. Of course, the crowd and attendant loves it. There's so much at stake here. So you're part of the Thai team then, uh, Kit? Yes, I am. The words of Kit Cope working with me here. He's the guy that knows this fighting. I'm just sort of holding things together here from the TV side and the description of what I'm seeing. So I hope that uh, you folks are enjoying it wherever you're watching around the world here on CMX Sports. This is round one of our very first fight of the evening. They are trading a lot. Well, very active, very busy in the early going. Wow, with that left hand was Super O. Now Super O goes off his feet, but I guess he's okay. Any three knockdown roll or any of that sort of that, stuff? Nothing imagine. at all. In fact, if you get counted to 10, you can still get up and fight if you want to. So, so a knockout. A knockout means you cannot go any longer. Wow. You wonder the excitement here of Muay Thai boxing, but this is something special. This is something we don't really have in the States. And I imagine where I've seen you fight. Uh, oh, nice knee by Super O. Beautiful. Right back with the right hand was uh, Chen Chai is his actual last name. Can't explain. Oh, down goes Chen Chai. And, uh, Pong uh, did a nice job there with the right hand. Explain to me about the uh, the competition with these guys, what it, what it means to these two young guys. I mean, we get uh, Pong from... Uh, uh, 
Marinma is only 17 years old. The other kid's only 18, but they have a huge amount of fights already. Yeah, uh, in th in these fights in particular, they, there's a lot of animosity. Take a look at the replay, and that's that right hand that uh, got him off his feet. He was kind of off balance yeah, in the first round. Yeah, just an off balance shot. Meanwhile, the guy that was down there, uh, Super O, uh, from Thailand, he's from uh, Moisad, Thailand himself, uh, he's got quite a record. He's had uh, 30 bare-knuckle fights, uh, 20 draws. He's had 10 wins by knockouts. But in Muay Thai, he's like 70 and three, so he's a sensational fighter. Yeah, he's he's very experienced. They start they start fighting pro when they're like 14 here. Oh yeah, boy, how about the heat and the humidity? It's unbelievable. Oh, this is gonna be nice to fight in tonight. We're in My Sat Thailand for Muay Thai bare knuckles, boxing and fighting and grappling and pushing and shoving, and <laughs> kicking and kneeing. I mean, I really enjoy it. That's the border right there. Right over that bridge, if we take a walk over there, we're actually in uh, Myanmar, modern-day Myanmar, where you probably know it as Burma, uh, mostly around the world. And this is our venue right here as we get ready for round number two in our very first fight of the evening. Again, it's Super O from Moisat, Thailand, decked out in the uh, brown sort oh, of trunks. Nice big front right kick. hand. Oh, there's a nice left hand that time. He clipped him in the side of the head. Oh, yeah, they traded on that one. Right back. Oh, look at that shot. Wow, right hand by the kid from Thailand. Geelong there in the blue trunks, he kind of felt the pressure of that uh, kick and then that right hand right behind it. This is round two, scheduled for five. Notice they, th notice they throw everything they can. Oh, that was great. Right on the eye. They throw everything they can and everything they throw because you have to knock your guy out. The cuts mean nothing. Uh, nope. They will not stop it for cuts. Look at this. Now, there are uh, what they call bounties for certain cuts. If you get your guy with the elbow, reverse elbow, you get a certain amount of money. How does that all work? Right. It's just like little bonuses. Little yeah. bonuses to make you fight harder. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. A couple of right hands get through there. Cracks him again with the right hand. There's a nice high front kick. He gets him with the knee. See, what you saw right there was uh, also something that we don't get to do here. He held him with his left hand behind the neck while he punched him with the right hand. Yeah, in, in the United States in Muay Thai, at least in the state of Nevada, where I've seen most of the fights, they Ooh. can't pull a guy forward and punch at the right, same time. Right, right. Oh, gorgeous elbows being thrown here. Yeah, don't ever, ever turn around. And in professional boxing, of course, that's a rule. You're not, it's, uh, you're not supposed to turn your back. Guys do it, and they wonder why they get hit in the head. But this yeah. is real dangerous because everything's legal. You can hit the back of the head. We've got blood. Yeah, blood trickling down the face. Oh, oh look at that shot. There's a bloody nose oh. and another left. Wow. Oh, I love this. See, Man. don't count him out. Don't count him out. These kids can take a lot of abuse. Jalong, and just as he lands a couple of shots, he takes a nice stiff right hand right to the chin. Uh, but Super O from Thailand in the brown trunks, he has a scramble to stay right in this thing. Wow, I love this stuff, kid. I see why you left boxing and get so involved with this sport. It's a great sport. It's so much more exciting. Look at that. It's a, it's a terrific schoolyard brawl. And, and that's exactly what it is. But the two uh, officials from the two different countries are right there. Look at the blood trickling from the nose. That's the Myanmar fighter in the blue trunks, Jelong Pan. And there's the bell ending the second round. And you know, I was starting to take a look at my score sheet as we take a look at the replay kit. You can tell us what happens there's here. There's a nice overhand right there. Straight from Thailand and followed back. Notice, like oh. I was saying, they're putting everything they have into all of these shots. That one was like right between the eyes. It was beautiful. And uh, if you hear in the background uh, somebody talking in Thai, it's the actual Thai announcers. This is on national television all over Thailand and in Burma. So if you hear that in the background, you know what's uh, going on. And we just explained to you. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan working with me, world champion Kit Cope, who's actually fighting in the main event tonight. And Kit, uh, it's a thrill to work with you again. We've done it a few times back home in uh, Nevada, but this is a special night to have you working with me on the night that you're actually fighting. Yeah, I appreciate it. You know, it's uh, it's just another thing to add to my resume. <laughs> we take a look at the trunk colors in the blue trunks again. Is Jelong uh, Pong from uh, Myanmar. 
And then the red, uh, as you see them on your screen, they actually look brown. Uh, from my side in Thailand is a super old Anupab uh, Chen Chai. Is, is, uh, is Here we go. Name. This is round three. Now there's no scoring in the rounds. It makes no, no scoring. Difference. Yep, who doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who did better before. It matters who goes down and stays down. Two good stiff right hands by Chen Chai or Super O. This is basically this is the purest form of the sport. Wow, look at that. Action but, continues here in the third round. Since there are more, since. Since it does, every punch does count for more and everything. Um, you won't see it's it's not as pretty. It's not as pretty as the Muay Thai that you've seen before because it's more dangerous now. Things count a lot more. Yeah, it counts in terms of you know the nutrition, uh, not nutrition, nutrition. Nutrition. Yeah, right. I was with you. <laughs> and and I say nutrition better be pretty good too because I got to tell you I'm sweating like mad and these kids are haven't stopped for three minutes in any round. We're in the third round. And they keep banging away. It's Super O and the brown trunks facing you. Nice front the knee that time. Whoa. Oh, flying elbow. Tom try to get that flying elbow too. You get the great reaction from the crowd here. There's a lot of enthusiasm here. Oh, look at that shot kid. That's Tom that landed that. And right back oh, comes yeah. that kid from Thailand. It. Yeah, all the fighters tonight in uh, red will be from Thailand, and all in blue will be from Burma. So I'll be in red. All right, I'll be able to spot you anyway. <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't really blend in here. Round three. I. I. I know that uh, the guy that's fighting. Oh, look at that right hand! That cracked uh, Bang uh, right on the jaw. But what's it take to drop these guys? I'm telling you, these guys will just keep on coming. Remember the guy in blue from uh, Myanmar. Pong is only 17 years of age, and his opponent, Chen Chai, or Super O as we call him in the red, he's only 18 years of age, and these guys haven't stopped grappling and throwing shots, knee, elbows going, and we're still in round three. This is scheduled for five. We had a little headbutt there, which is, of course, perfectly legal. See, one of the things that's keeping these kids up is that they there's so much at stake here um, socially. These people really do not like each other at all. There's a serious feud going on between these two countries for the last hundreds of years. It's all about the border. Remember that the border dispute settled as the bell finally ends the third round. That seemed like about a five minute round. <laughs> no kidding. I don't know whether it's my size, but take a look at this replay kit. Some lefts, some rights. Bang, that one rocked his jaw there. And he just walks forward. Oh, I liked that one. Yeah. They'll taunt each other all oh, day long. Oh, jeez, that's a good right hand. He there. actually landed like five of those in a row. Just kept going with him. All right, Bob Sheridan back here with Kit Cope. We're in a beautiful place called Mysot in Thailand. And it's a big holiday celebration here where everything is legal. Knees, fists, feet, elbows, kicks to the head, all legal. Even to the groin, head butts, back of the head, all legal. Holy and hitting, you've seen it all as we come up to round number four in our very first fight of the evening from uh, my son. Again, I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan with Kit Colt, the world champ, who's fighting in the main event a little bit later on. Coming up to round number four between Anupab Super O Chen Chai is his name from uh, my son in Thailand, and he's taking on Jelong Pang. And it's been a fairly even Here battle. Here we go with round number four. I mean, it's just a seesaw battle kit back and forth. Guys will land shots, they'll get a good knee and a kick. You guys are very evenly matched. You can see the, uh, that uh, Jaleong, he's not quite as polished, but what he, what he lacks in polish, you make up for in, in just pure heart. Oh, yeah, he's tough, and these guys have got to be fatigued. I'm, I'm going to have to keep pointing it out to you folks because it's just really, really unbelievable heat. I mean, we live in the desert back in uh, Nevada, and the heat's nothing like this, and we often have days that are 20 degrees warmer than this in, in July and August. Look at these shots here, the right hand lands. And he just says, bring it on. Yeah. Give me some more. But the, the humidity here is just unbelievable. Oh, yeah, it's hot and wet hot, and we're coming from basically coming from winter, you know, just getting out of winter back home. It's a little different. Oh, this is exciting stuff. The rap is coming and done. Nobody seems to care. It's not no. like boxing, but they, they stop. I mean, a loose rep. 
Oh, nice. huge leg kick. That hurts. Trust me, I know. I do it to people all the time. Well, you're known for your leg kicks. That's one of your trademarks. We hope to see some of those later on, too. I'll do my best for you. So when you see some leg kicks, you know it's just for you, Colonel. Well, I appreciate that. Look at this. I appreciate you joining me because I am just learning this sport. I'm a very enthusiastic fan of the sport right now, but it's great to have you here who knows what all these kicks mean and what all of this is all about. Look at those wraps just peeling off. It's actually rope. They're wearing rope. It's just coming apart. Oh, huge overhand right and a missed elbow on the other side. Look at that looping right hand there. It cracked him right across the jaw. But neither guy has really been down from a punch, and they've hit them with what I would call hellacious punches. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. These guys are these guys are eating it all. And remember the fatigue factor, folks. These are three-minute rounds, and they haven't stopped at each other at any time during any one of these rounds. We're in the fourth round. It's scheduled for five. It might have slowed down a bit, but, I mean, not their energy output. Look at this. Unbelievable heat and humidity, and they just keep going at it. It almost looks like uh, Super O's trying to survive the rounds. And then uh, and the Jeleong's actually still trying for the knockout. Oh, wait, no. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. That happens every time you go and say, oh, I think this guy's out, the other guy goes bad kick. Boy, these guys are just back and forth. It's a good seesaw battle, and every round has been this way. This looks like it has the makings of something that could go the distance because nobody's been off his feet. And there's the belt ending. Mercifully, I'll say the fourth round. Good round of action. Here we go. There's that huge leg kick, followed by a right hand to wake him up. Oh, yeah, don't just pay attention to the legs. Boom, big, that's a big Ooh. overhand right I commented on before. Wow. This is the scene. Big crowd here today. Oh, they love this here. We're at My Sat, Thailand, which is right up about uh, 300 miles north of Bangkok, Thailand. Most of you know where Bangkok is located in Southeast Asia. And uh, on the Myanmar border, this used to be Burma, but the nationality is Burmese of all of these people. Yes, yes. And that's what the independence is all about. It's uh, uh, and what this, uh, this is really a festival more than just a prize fight, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. All right, here we go. We're coming up to the fifth and final round of what I would say is a fairly even fight to this point between Super O, a kid by the name of Anupab Chenchai, and Jeleong Panyang. And you were telling me earlier that they use the first name is really the yeah, way Yeah, the they'll go by their first name. So it'd be Colonel and Because their, their first name is, is <laughs> their last name. Right, right. And they also yeah. use it for sponsorship sometimes, the yep. name of their town. So their first name is uh, pretty much it. But again, from Thailand is Super O and sort of the brown trunks facing you. They are red, but... Uh, they look brown, and to the right of your screen in the uh, blue trunks is our fighter from Myanmar. Myanmar is the way you pronounce that, Burma. Now, if somebody doesn't sleep in this round, it's a draw, and you just fought for nothing. <laughs> but there's no dignity in a draw at all? I mean, uh, when, they, when they're talking about it later on, having a few uh, quiet talks? Oh, yeah, no, they'll talk about, oh, yeah, we had a great fight, that kind of thing. But it's nothing like when you can say, yeah, I got another notch in the wing column. We're in round number five. I'm definitely not here to get a draw. Well, I know the way you fight, and I wouldn't uh, expect a draw. Oh, gorgeous team. knees, gorgeous knees. But it's a little too late, actually, to start going to the body. We're in the fifth and final round of this fight here. Moisat, Thailand on the Burmese border, and this is, oh, look at these kids. There's a little uh, annoyance there, too, isn't there? Get off me so I can punch you in your face. Continue to grapple. Boy, these referees have to be well trained to handle this too. It's a, the way they work in unison is very well done. Oh, see, there was a little knee to the groin, which is perfectly legal, and a kick when he went down. Pong felt that a little bit. Oh, oh right oh. back! Look at these two good right hands. Right back with the right hand is Super O himself. There's no quit, the kid. They don't want it to end in a draw. You are so right. You know this sport inside and out. You know these kids. Woo, Look at the, the crowd! Nuts. Ah, I love it! This is great! See, just wrap, go ahead and wrap your hands up all back up in your wrap. Hey, what's that kind of okay. handshake when they throw the hands down the room? That's, just, that says go, get that's, it on! That's just the style, that's what they do, huh? Come on, boys. Little fatigue factor now, and why not? It's 100 degrees and 100% humidity, and they haven't slowed down much at all in the course of this fight. Oh, look at that, the knee yeah. right to the spine. Perfectly legal. 
Now that back in the states is illegal, isn't it? Yeah. Muay Thai rules. Unfortunately. <laughs> Pong there, uh, Jellyong as you call him, has uh, been cut uh, in the fight. Now he tries to pick him up. Now can you pick a guy up and drive him down to the canvas? Or sure you can. Anything. So anything yeah. really goes here. They'll just tell you, hey, cut that out. That's about but you it. can do it. Oh yeah. And there he goes. He threw him finally down to the canvas. Yep. Notice how the referee jumped in his way. Yeah. Because if you can get to him before the ref does, it's perfectly legal. Well, I'm very impressed with the uh, the way the officials. Two good free right hands in a row by the Thai fighter. Making Penang, the 17-year-older from Myanmar, pay the price. Oh, he don't care, though. Oh, and that's, that's it. it. So I guess that's a draw. Huh? That is a draw. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> we came 12,000 miles halfway around the world to see our first fight, and it's a draw. It's a draw. Well, that's the story in our first fight of the evening. It's a draw between Super O, Jin Chai, and Jelly Pong.